How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here talking about the newly released Vegito Blue scans which were just now leaked from the upcoming Shonen Jump. Now unfortunately because of the trailer released earlier this scan is a lot less impressive. Ideally I feel like this was the first time we were supposed to be seeing Vegito Blue. I was supposed to get hyped up you know oh my god Vegito Blue but unfortunately that's already all happened. You know we've got that out of our systems. I did that reaction video. We all got hyped. Uh, so now this is a little underwhelming but we do have new dramatic finishes uh, as stated here <clears throat> which are shown in this scan but first let's cover what we already know. Uh, first up we have the in-game art for Vegito Blue. Uh, looks about what you would expect. His classic pose from his intro. Uh, captured very well with the in-game art style. Uh, and then we have what I assume is his dramatic intro against Merge Zamasu. You know, come at me, he's just gesturing with his hand. Uh, looks really good, that up close shot on Vegito Blue's face really good shot there. I'm just assuming that's a dramatic intro. It could be the beginning of their dramatic finish. After that we have a bunch of stuff that we've already seen. We have the first shot of the final Kamehameha and then at, we, as we know after that it transitions into both him and Vegeta's face and then Vegito blue again and then the beam is finally fired. There it is right there. Nothing too special again we've seen it all before. We have the special move where he folds up his arms and kicks. Again we saw that before. <laughs> and we have the beam sword or spirit sword sorry. I got a lot of comments about that one when I called it Beam Sword, uh, Spirit Sword. I'm doing this before we get the translations because honestly it's super early right now and I'm kind of sick. So forgive me for being one of those people that <laughs> just assumes things that might be listed in the article. But this might be one big dramatic finish or this could be the dramatic intro and then this could be the dramatic finish but at, I'm assuming because of the arrows it flows from picture to picture. So he, he lands the punch, obviously uh, nod to the anime from when they clashed fist, and then he reels back, does the final Kamehameha, and this looks insanely cool right here. I wish this wasn't the tiniest picture out of all of them, uh, but I'll take what I can get at this point. So we got a couple of good things. Uh, again, not sure if this is a dramatic intro or just the beginning of the dramatic finish. Yeah, it's got to be a part of something cinematic. And then other than that, other than the new dramatic intro, uh, other than the new dramatic finish, uh, that's all we really know. Uh, credit to Shonen Games, of course, for getting this content as always. Uh, they're pretty, they're a pretty fantastic uh, website. I'd go follow them on Twitter. I know I do, and I actually have notifications turned on, which is why you're seeing this so early. So this DLC is coming out late May, like I predicted. Just like the last DLC, after we get both scans, it's going to be a little while longer, and then it's going to release late May. Uh, so if you know when Bardock and Broly came out, I'd say around then-ish for this month, of course. So, are you guys excited for Vegito Blue and Merge Zamasu to drop? I know I am. I, I'll be honest. I know a lot of you are as well. Vegito Blue really brings the hype for a lot of people, and, and Merge Zamasu is my favorite super character of all time, so I'm going to be really excited to jump into a week of ranked with these guys, uh, possibly even more because I'm that excited for them. But let me know how you're feeling about all this down in the comments below. While you're down there, if you like this video and enjoy the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Dr. Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.